Have you been struggling with ways on how to import video or maybe a photo into your KV Core email? I know I was when I was trying to set up some drip campaigns and I didn't want it to be just an old plain email. I wanted to send some video. Well, on today's video, I'm gonna show you the workarounds that I found and how to make that happen. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are on the computer and I wanna show you how I embed photos and videos into my KV Core emails. So I've been trying to do a lot more with video messaging my clients and prospective clients as opposed to just text messages and emails. So one thing I did like for the 4th, uh, for May 4th, I had this little uh, meme, I guess you could call it, that I sent out to everybody in a mass email. What the resource I use for this is IMG bb.com and it's a hosting site and what i like about them is one that it's free and two you can get embedded codes and what you need to make this work with kv core whether it's video or photos you need the embedded code so all you're going to do is you're going to highlight this code right click hit copy control c or command c if you're on a mac depending on what you're on go over to your email put in your subject line go here to where it says source code and then here you can just put in, you know, um, message here, and then just control V or command V your image, and it's gonna pop it right into your email. Now you can send this out to everybody. If you don't like the size of it, you just right uh, left click on the image, and then you go up to these little arrows here, and you can pull it down, so these little boxes, and then you can make the, uh, the image whatever size you want. Now, if we are doing video, it's very similar to what we're gonna do, except I use a service called Dub. So here's my buyer's welcome video. And basically what I'm gonna do is I can upload the video, I can shoot it right through my computer and upload it or through the mobile app. Think of it as like bonbon, but a lot more friendly on your pocket. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit share and send. Now there's a couple different ways you can do it, but what I want again is the embed. So I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard go back over to KV Core to my source code to the same spot we did the uh, we did the photo I'm gonna highlight everything to get rid of it and then put please watch this video and then I'm gonna paste in the uh, source code now normally for me the video is too big at 100% so what I like to do is move it to 70 and it seems to fit the window better and if you're doing this through Gmail, all you have to do is copy the link, um, which is uh, like right here is just copy this uh, where you can say copy and, or I'm sorry, just click on that right there and it copies it and it automatically, so if I was going to my Gmail account, say I wanted to uh, put this here and I hit control V. I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Oh, that's what I need. I needed the uh, copy for email. And then you can put in your personalized text here. Hey, watch this video. Hit copy for email. This is gonna work now. Sorry, I haven't done it this way in a while. Hit control V and now as you can see, it's got a little message, automated GIF, and then they can watch the video when I send it. Um, I'm not sending that right now. But back to KV Core. So when I do that, hit OK. Now my video is right there with KV Core. You know, they can hit play. Hey, they can pick, you know, 720 if they want for uh, the uh, quality of the video. And that's pretty much it. You can send this out as a mass text. You can set this stuff up. What I've been doing is going back through all my drip campaigns in certain emails I've been adding video to them so instead of it just being an email it's a video so like now when I get somebody that comes in as a buyer they're gonna get this video right away it's gonna come in an email and now they're kind of connecting my voice my face kind of being a little bit more personable than just a email so that's pretty much it that's how I do it now um, let me show you one other thing you can still do this with uh, YouTube videos so let's say I want to take this video here and pull it up on YouTube. So say I wanna take this video, I can do it the same way. You just have to make sure you click. When you hit the share button, you just wanna make sure you click the embed button and then you can pick your, uh, your start time and some different options. 
And then all you're gonna do is highlight all that, copy it, and then come back over to your KV core. And the same spot that we put the other stuff, we're just gonna get that out of there. And it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna put it in there, hit okay. And now you have your video that you want them to see never realized how bad of a picture that was but now they can view a video if you wanted to send them something on from youtube that you uploaded if you didn't want to pay for like dub again it's not going to play automatically and stuff like that it's going to show other videos at the end but it's a good way to kind of get a little more personable i think so let me know what your thoughts are hopefully that helps you let me know if you have a different way of doing video and photos i'd love to know because that's one of the biggest things i dislike about kv core is the fact that i can't just attach a file or i just can't drop in an image so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe peace